Roger Alfred Nikita Mangena, the commander. He was born Rogers Mangena in March 1945. He attended Nemande Primary School, Guatemba Primary, Musume Mission, and Chegato Mission. In 1965, Rogers was expelled from Chegato Mission and moved to Zambia, where he continued with his studies at Chikola Secondary School. In 1965, Rogers left school and joined the liberation struggle. Zapu was already active in Zambia, recruiting young people for military training. When he joined the struggle, he named himself Alfred Nikita. Nikita Khrushchev was a Soviet Union politician. He led the Soviet Union during the height of the Cold War, serving as a premier from 1958 to 1964. The name Alfred came from Dr. Alfred Bettini, who was the first black South African to become a medical doctor. He was President General of the African National Congress, ANC, from 1940 to 1949. Alfred Nikita trained in Algeria. After the basic military training, he was selected with 18 others to attend a military academy. He did the officer's training and the commando training. The commando training was so tough that out of 18, only five completed the training, and Nikita was one of them. After the Zapu split of 1971, where James Chikerema and others left and formed Frolizi, Rogers Alfred Nikita Mangena was appointed commander of the rebranded Zapu's military wing called Zimbabwe People's Revolutionary Army. John Dewey was appointed chief of operations, Report Mpoko, chief of logistics, Gordon Munyai, chief of intelligence, Sifa Stele, chief of personal admiration. Dr. Augustus Mudzingwa, Medical Officer, and JZ Moyo, Commander-in-Chief. Nikita had the task to build the Zipra team from zero, and he did an exceptional job. In less than five years, Zipra was a formidable army. Nikita's success had its own problems. Internally, there are others who felt Nikita was too strict. Others felt he had presidential ambitions and he wanted to take over. Well, if you did not want to, to follow orders, obviously you would say Mangena was cruel because the orders don't follow soldiers. Soldiers follow orders. So if you're a soldier who thought that the orders will follow you, obviously you'll find Mangena cruel. He wanted to, he would not do, give you something that you are not trained to do. Although sometimes in the military, you think he, 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 he wanted me to do more than I, I'm capable of doing. struggling <laughs> Yeah, the death of JZ suddenly brought a lot of things over Mangena on the military. It put a lot of pressure on him. Uh, because uh, suddenly people saw some, 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 some room or space to get in and uh, take control. And um, that's where the problem was. It was now about Mangena is controlling the, a lot of things. So all lies came about and everything else that was um, um, earlier on, not there. In March 1978, Rogers Alfred Nikita Mangena was ambushed in a zebra camp in Zambia. He was shot in the leg and also lost a finger in the attack and was flown to Russia for treatment. And those involved were never arrested. It was clear that the attack was internal but no one was arrested. There is this culture amongst the, the Ndebele in particular, our people, 
that you don't talk your things in the open. You don't. Uh, I've heard some say you don't wash your linen, dirty linen in the open. But this has got some history, gentlemen. We can't hide it. Somebody knows we have murderers walking these streets. Whether it is in Zanu, whether it is in Zipran, there we have murderers in our streets here. And it's not fair. They are there. There you hear someone was hidden in Angola there. For what? Why do you go to Angola when you know? But what can we do? But I'll tell you and I'll say this to me so Dabengwa. Or anyone else who was senior in, in Zipra should know who shot Mangena. Because even after his death, people turned out and said, Oh, feel Uzozi. What's what's that? It's also an army commander being at this. It's also, who is this one who thinks they own the army? Who who's this who thinks they own Zebra? Who are they? And um, <laughs> this struggle didn't belong to an individual. So why is this individual now wanting to uh, exterminate others? a <laughs> problem. As long as East South Sagara Sana Air Seven Zalasan in this is a long problem. But there was also a problem with sometimes the Abantu Baba Famous Savanya Bantu Kumangena among the cadres and the e civilian leadership. But seven to Ulumangen. Seven city Ukanga to Mangena said a power and cool who would be safe with Tatel Kong. But the there was the formation of Zipa, but the unity between Zanla and Zipra did not last. Zandla complained that Zipra's training tactics were too hard and Zipra's soldiers were still loyal to Zapo leadership when Zandla had denounced Ndabaning Sitole. The differences led to the detention of Zipra soldiers. Others were tortured and some lost their lives in Zandla camps. Seeing the situation as unworkable, Mangena withdrew his men. I lived prison by what I call the luckiest moment of my life. Just next to the prison or prison um, cell, the cars came into the in, inside the gate and were parked somewhere there. And for some reason, Mangena, who was the, from Mozambique, I think he was coming for petrol or something like that, or whatever. I have no idea why he was coming there, why he was there. So he parked in the window, and then the window was not this low. It was high, and, and the person he was with is a gentleman or a comrade called Fanny. For some reason, I had known Fanny in, in, uh, in Morogoro. We didn't train together, but he had trained earlier with the PV and so on. And then he, he decided to peep <laughs> because there was a light, light was on. So he decided just to peep what was inside there. And he was surprised to find me and Sipo. They had trained together with Sipo. I think they knew each other. And then he just shouted, Sipo, what are you doing there? Sipo, what are you doing there? Papa, what are you doing there? Uh, and we just stood up and, uh, and naked. Mangena was mad, completely mad. He literally went mad. He went inside the car, took the gun and took the guards in. He was literally manhandling them. He said, why are these people here? The guards couldn't explain. There was no duty officer. The keys were not there. Everybody was running and running around. It was unbelievable. And uh, finally they opened for us. But me, I didn't have clothes. didn't have anything. At least Molly and Sipo had brought in their kids. So the moment we were released, the following morning, uh, they wore their clothes. I didn't have anything. So uh, Commander Mangana took me to, well, I had to wear some trousers. 
I was over of a size and I you know to it was literally falling and we were too, I was smaller that time. And then we went to uh town and he bought me some clothes and I, I wore them right there in the shop. First of all, good things are who selling to who because when we were in Mozambique, uh, the president of Mozambique addressed us under Zipa, Zanla and Zipra. And uh, the, there was a talk of, I was there, attended the meeting, uh, that you people who are fighting uh, should choose leaders among yourself and continue the struggle. And the, the, it was said, your leaders here they seem to be fighting. No, they, 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 our leaders were under one umbrella of NC. Uh, there was Zapu, Zanu, Frolizi, and NC. So it was a coalition of four leaders. It was a lot of pulling, and, you know. And Mangena uh, uh, told the, 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 the Mozambican authorities that they, they, they are, they are, they are, we, we had not come here. We'd gone, not gone to Zipa to, 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 to change uh, elected leaders. We'd gone to fight, and the people of Zimbabwe are the only people who have a right to choose their own leaders. So, good things are, I don't see. And when he got injured, well, we, 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 we had a problem of infiltration. I think, to us, uh, as, the as, the, as the war continued, Smith realized he was not going to win the war. But he, he would uh, like to that the movements, the Persian movement, win after they've been weakened. And uh, then that they're not so much of a, a political threat to the powers of the whites. And uh, when it went in, then they were selling these other stories and uh, uh, to, to, to try and, uh, for instance, on Zipra in particular, the discipline in Zipra and the approach, I think, was a headache to the, to the religion government. And they, 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 they were trying to drive a wedge between the political leadership and the military leadership. And I think they did that to us up to, uh, to, uh, to the end, to make sure that uh, uh, the, the leaders uh, uh, feel threatened maybe by, by, by the military and the other. In June 1978, a group of Zipra soldiers, led by Zipra's Deputy Chief of Operations, Asaf, were killed when their car drove over a landmine in Kavalamanja. On the 28th of June 1978, Alfred Nikita Mangena left his offices to go and check what happened and also bury those who died. On their way back, his car drove over a landmine and the Zipra commander was killed. Uh, Mangena, when he died, he wanted to physically go and actually drive out the Rhodesians who had infiltrated into Zambia. And uh, that is, that was typical of Mangena. What I'm uh, regretting the most is the death of Mangena. The death of Mangena really it was a big blow. Mangena, as I said, he, to me he was a military genius. He was a military genius. The things when I look what happened and say my, in, in my own mind and say, I think Mangena would have not allowed this. He would have done it this way. He would have said that why. He would have said that. Uh, he would have taken decision even against some uh, uh, political uh, decision. He would go and say, no, this one, the, the army will not do this. Like when we went to Mozambique, things became bad. And Mangena said that he was pulling all Zipras out. Took a decision. And uh, then he went around himself uh, to, to uh, inform uh, his colleagues that this thing is not working well. I was in the, up there in Tete province, on the other side of the Zambezi, the southern side. No, no, the northern side of Zambezi. So the, the word did not reach us that uh, we, 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 we were supposed to pull out. Most of the people were told, but it couldn't be 100%, but it was a, a high percentage. And then we also met analysis and realized it's not working, and we went to Zambia. And when we arrived, and they asked, 
why did you take so long? I said, but we had not been told you had deployed us there to do. To, to. He said, you mean you could not see that it's not working? No, he was not compromising. It was a lucky strike. It was a typical lucky strike. It's a very lucky strike. You see. Moreover, what had happened was, in fact, I would say internal uh, the influence in that they had tried to kill Mankin, the FC. So they had wounded him. So that wound, when he was walking from bearing or Asaf, it became painful. That is what made him decide to go to the motor. Upalavui, John Ovana U Tabiso, Uchone Hamba, because Tabiso, watch on a tutor. In the first place, what had happened there was O Asaf uh, had been made a uh, sort of like a uh, chief of staff operations, like as in U commander's operations. O Asaf was made operations, the command. In other words, GSO. Uh, one the command. Then U Jones was made KSO one the command. We did one of the Dilali admin, the Q. The other one will do will deal with operations. So Uman Genalabana, he was due to go a Russia, a Seagwinza Army Commander's course. As I wear Russia and why Gakupan Davili two uh, staff officers. One to deal with AQ and one to deal with the G. So Asaf was supposed to be very conversant about the operations. That's why he had gone to deploy Amasochalan. So when he had gone to deploy Amasochalan, accidentally, Babu have a keep on my mind. I forgot my king. In the Nayonke from Kavang. But why I figure I'm so we feel him fooling, Kulomi, so we tell him fooling. I was telling him fooling, Ben. Guago Veleguins when is a mind. See, Guago Valuing and some Guaguins is a mind, M. Quaquen Pesco Matual. When Zen and some mind in Japan, they took it for guarantee to put in Ugudi, Umunduza Fagan, I'll be mine, Gona. But about the Gujuti, I'm a mine as a pelly. As Captain in his mother. See if you have a man seen. Cutty Ababuzang Elang. I'm a cure of a quad to this amend. But far my mind. I'm a controlled minds. In the one. So his mother is an as boy. I'm a zeal, Vele own, as a visit petrol. So his mother is an Vele without his safety. A very regular army. Avant Vavetala Lama Tram. On a lawyer petrol. So his mother is another Jalama Tram and Petro. Then Zanya did not tell my mind. So when I lay up and build Vera, that I tell in Kunz, your mind, Mab, I'm sure I eat double. At the hour, they are cross Umka. As he lets his bear, his child in. Yavan. Bonabena, they will ambush him with him. So they hit them hard. Seven chai wavandu la pan. Uman gena seven two magavant. Hambanin magum resli kangela ngalukutu kwenye galen. Umdo buya yu. Lese inguchangan. Utunye utuaga ikangel. Afige choma kona ale choma. Ata ane lumundo vela. Gugu gusi no sile la pan gusi. Seto pumundo na sependo. Sisi lusa. After three days, man gena watu no man. Namtala or Tanning Camp. Lagan, you have a young kin. Double. Obviously, I am buying. Would they figure out what this mother similar? Damn his mother going to be pissed. Wasn't Gena again and Yenya, Baham Banina. So, in why is it done? I won't want to only mele, maybe was serious. I visit Munta. Would have his abu in a gang, as a killing winter. As a tatimun to an ambusil, Jalon Jalon, say what the action in two timini onke, two tama casualties. What's why I feel, Gubo Asaf? There's a feel of Wazaf, 
Bapila ke ba ba lahlo asa. Ha ke ba makoti sibi ba ba ngwaba. Tese ba ke dilu ngwaba asa pula pala. Ba buyele mu. Ba tese ba kamba ke ba sendeleni. Ba tinya ola mzelo utlu. It was now sort of umuntu onguda. Njongo ba nu tabizo. Choni mini onke buya. O pala la ega buya. Ndo wan. Lo pala. So when I say figure, some say I figure la pana la po over pendu wa kono u u u u Me figure la pana wa ku pendu wa kono tabis. Eh, imoti agapala ya ipambi. So tabis ose bu ose bu ya food udanzo tuana. So upala so ku pana ndenzen abu yele move food abu yele ni ni imoti ku bu yele move ku la pana omangelo wa vilese vikati. That's why the serious casualties we are a podcast of having a move. It's a command. Quando o governo do governo mundo olhar, olhe, e com o senso de apreciação, o que tu vais fazer lá, lá, manje, a ma corrida e apreciação é diferente, sai do querim, na vez muito ele lá para, olhe um belo a gente discharge, se vê tudo lá, se vê muda de pants, três times vem por se lá pants, vem chi, é tarde mais cam, aí agora a mulher tudo lá. Even from the mine, you know, learn how to be guy. Quite often, we are lucky. So they are more like uh, disoriented. Very disoriented. Plus, if we appreciate in into in jalo, a big leap in into jalo. If we no want to train we go. Then I want to have a train we go him. If we we going to be sensible. But I'm a gorilla, panicked. Can I tell you the story? She was not a politician. Why the story? I would have gotten more of Kulumai politics. I into the whole Alesi or Babes if it is a one. Babes for the Zogan and so the nature of the wiser team. But the young as a banya by Kabang and Woodman General and a white corner. You don't get into another in Zagal. In the Avon Talano with Dallas, a banya seva, I say, I was so good a civil war or anything. I don't know. But in now we could a white tanti marilam and quas dog. Baba Mam Niki Madam to won't go but don't say as much. Personally I don't think there's there's enough as a person I can do to own a mangan. Uh for instance I gave my one of my sons the name Nikita. In order to to to, to keep that memory going. How do how do how do you do enough to to own a person who sacrificed his life? How? How do you do that? I don't know. I don't know. Because if someone gives his or her life, he has given everything. How who gives his life for you to live? It's not easy. It's not easy. I don't know. I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible. For every bad things we do here, I think I feel it's like an insult to Mangena. Rogers Alfred Nikita Mangena died at the age of 33. His legacy lives on. <laughs>